Hey guys, it's Kevin. If you have a EcoTank ET2760, you might get this E11 air. So this video is to show you do not buy the replacement part for this printer. This air is normally caused by the ink pad is full. And uh, whenever the printer uh, do the self-cleaning, it dumps some ink in the waste, waste ink pad. When, once the ink pad is full, it needs to be changed. To take the waste ink pad out is pretty easy. You only need a Phillips screwdriver, uh, number two. And on the back, you're going to see one screw here. And the cover can be removed. Then there's another screw on the waste tank. Remove that and uh, you can slide the waste tank out. It looks so easy. So most people just run out store and buy a new uh, ink tank. However, if you put this new ink tank in, it doesn't work. If you restart a printer, you're going to see the E11 error is still there. Let's take a look of the replacement and compare with what we have. They all look uh, identical, except you can see the new one has a chip, but the old one doesn't have a chip. The printer has a counter that remembers how much waste ink is in the waste tank. The ET2760 remembers it inside the printer, so it doesn't need a chip. So the one you bought from Epson is it remembers the counter on the chip. Uh, but uh, for ET2760, uh, you need a uh, software to reset the counter inside the printer because it doesn't have a chip. Don't worry, it sounds complicated, but I'm going to show you step by step how to do that. Let's reset the counter first, and uh, then after that, we're going to install an external waste tank rather than using Epson's waste tank. To do the software thing, you need a PC. Uh, sorry, it doesn't work on Mac. Uh, and also you need to uh, plug in your printer through USB and uh, not wireless. You also need uh, the Epson driver installed, not uh, the, the default Microsoft drivers. So to find a driver, you can just Google the model number and uh, make sure you go to Epson.com, not uh, the like EpsonDriver.com, EpsonHelp.com and those uh, spam website. When you get there, just uh, hold on for a second and uh, it's going to detect what uh, OS you use and uh, populates, let you download. And we want these drivers and the uh, utility combo. Next, we go to inkchip.net. It's .net, not .com. We click WIC on the top. And uh, you're going to see one key is uh, about like $10 and uh, five keys is like uh, cheaper. Okay, don't buy anything yet. Okay, let me show you where you're gonna buy. And uh, scroll down, make sure your model is there. Uh, you can do a search and see that's our model. And when you see the models there, scroll up and uh, click the English download. And you're gonna see your browser downloading a software and uh, just run it. This company has done lots of improvements uh, over the time and uh, right now is um, at least my antivirus anything it just doesn't overreact. Uh, however, if you have some like uh, overreact uh, antivirus, you might you have you might have turned it off for a second. But for my it works. Uh, after you install, you're gonna put a couple icons on your desktop and find the final one said English and uh, click a with ink counters and. Uh, you can select your model here and uh, do a read and uh, you're going to see my get uh, free f uh, the, my my software going to get frozen and uh, it just go infinite loop forever this is because i don't have the epson <laughs> driver installed okay let me show you how to tell if you have the epson driver installed or not go to your control panel go to printer and the scanners find your Epson printer and uh, and uh, select uh, printer preferences and uh, you're going to see the printer preferences are like, pretty bare. I'll snap a picture here and uh, so you can compare after I install the drivers. So go uh, go search and go to Epson.com uh, make sure it's Epson.com again don't get spammed and there are so many 
uh, websites, and uh, like uh, you're gonna you're gonna see like Epson dot driver.com <laughs> anyway uh, go to realapps.com and uh, install the drivers okay let's check again if we have the real apps and driver so go to printer find the printer and go to printing preferences and uh, you're going to see you got a lot of bell and whistles and uh, so we have the real apps and driver uh, this is to compare what you have before and uh, what you have now you can see uh, uh, now we have the real deal. And let's say it works this time. So go with counter, select a model, and click. Boom, right there. You're going to see two readings. The first reading is how much ink is in the waste tank. And the second reading is how much ink is on the platen inside the printer. So the platen is OK, and just the waste tank need to be reset to zero. Now take your wallet out, and we're ready to buy a key to reside. So we go back to inkchip.net, and on the top, you're going to see a, a button set Buy. Click on that, and uh, one of the row is at WIC. Here, you can select how many keys you want to buy. So today, we only need one to reset one printer. But if you get more, you get a, you get a cheaper deal. We click Add to Cart. You can also add them in the cart, become one, and click cart. And uh, now you're ready to check out. I know the flow wasn't like an American or regular human being uh, <laughs> expected. Anyway, Europeans. Okay, read the third row down, please. Hey, hey, yo, hey, yo, yo, hey. The key usually comes really fast. Whenever I click, it almost like I feel like uh, it arrives in my uh, inbox. Uh, it arrived in my email inbox before I even clicked. Anyway, so it should come fast. However, if you didn't receive the Inca bars, uh, email their support at inkchip.net and uh, make sure to get it sorted out. Once you get uh, the key, and just click uh, Reset and uh, paste the key and uh, say OK. You're going to see a window pop up uh, almost immediately said uh, it's reset to zero and it's asking to restart a printer. OK, let's go take a look of the printer. We use the power button to sh shut down the printer and uh, then just restart it. And no more errors. That means the, the counter has been set to zero. Next, we don't want to buy a new waste tank every time. Uh, so we're going to have a permanent waste tank installed. Uh, let's wait at the old ink tank, uh, the waste tank, and uh, the new waste tank. The difference is it's about uh, 100 uh, grams, so that will be 100 ml of ink in it. Because the waste tank is basically a big bottle, we can just uh, catch the ink coming out from this uh, hole. You can get a complete kit from uh, bchtechnology.com, or you can just uh, look around your house, see if you can have something that can serve the same purpose. And anyway, go to bchtechnology.com and go to waste tank. There's a whole kit which contains uh, a connector, 200 ml bottle. Remember, we need at least 100 ml to hold the waste ink, a uh, Velcro, and a tube. And remember, this a thinner tube for this model. You can buy them individually or buy, buy them as whole kit. Uh, anyway, today we're going to use a whole kit. We attach a tube to the connector, and uh, then we insert uh, the connector to the waste, uh, waste ink outlet. You can either leave the side cover open or uh, drill a hole through the, uh, through the plate. You can see Epson already made a circle for you. That means uh, they mean, oh, don't use over external tank, use Kevin's. His uh, solution is better. This is why I recommend 25 mm uh, tube, the smaller tube. Uh, it goes through this hole nicely. And now we can close the cover. When you put a vacuum on, the Velcro just uh, uh, kind of a little bit uh, stab stabilize the bottle so you don't ac accidentally knock it over. It's not for you to glue the bottle on the printer. So some, some, some people email me and say, hey, I hand, hand uh, the waste tank over my desk. Uh, the second day, it fall on the floor. Yeah, it will. Now I can shorten the uh, tube 
and uh, make a hole on the top of the cap. And now we don't have to buy the replacement parts from Epson again. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnology.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers. There was a time not long ago when printer cartridges were so expensive. So expensive. And BCH came out to play. The quality cartridges saved the day. Oh, oh, oh.